With few days into the election, the National Democratic Congress has introduced the Faninina policy into their manifesto. This policy seeks to absorb the fees of tertiary students who gain admission in 2020 and 2021. The question is, will this policy influence voters' decision on December 7th? Let's find out. I don't think Mohammed's dream is going to work because uh, my view, whilst Mahama was, I mean, the president or the first man for the nation, the little he has, he wasn't able to mobilize it well. So, for me, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, I don't think so. Because NDC know they, they have already lost already. So, I don't think this will change Ghanaian's mind to vote for NDC. They, they know that they will, they will lose. That is why they have brought something to change Ghanaian's mind. Yeah. yeah, if a game will be patronized, it starts from the morning. NDC doesn't have anything better to offer Ghanaians. So I see that it's a great fallacy that they are putting on board. And I don't see the reason why last minute and they are promising having an aid. I'm, I'm very much surprised. Mama should come again. At least you should come next 50 years, uh, uh, that will help. Me, I don't think we are going to vote for NDC because I'm a free SHS student, so I just completed SHS. And um, with my friends and myself, like we've all made our mind that we are going to vote for MPP because we want His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado to continue his policy because it's going to bring us a lot of stuff. If you have to listen to his views, and I think he's a vision man, like he has vision. So then I think we should vote for him so that he can still continue his work. For me, I don't think it's possible. They just want something that will make people vote for them. But then taking fees of, you not even say you're taking half of it, but then taking everything, imagine the tertiary institutions we have in Ghana. So many. So if you're taking each and every one's school fees, I don't think it's going to be possible. They just want people to vote for them, so they are saying what they want. That's not how I see. If people will vote for NDC, they will vote because they are tired of the NPP government. The NPP government has disappointed in all ways. You understand? So even if the people are voting for NDC, it's not be, it will not be because of uh, Fanina and I friend is saying. Fanina. Fanina. It will not only be because of that. Yeah. Some people will vote because of that because assuming I'm a student, I'm in tertiary and I don't have money to pay my fees and the government, I mean, and an aspiring president says he will do that. Yeah, I'll try him and see. You've heard it all from some Ghanaians. According to them, they've already psyched their minds on who to vote for on Monday, December 7th. NST Nasawa Asante, reporting for Ghana Web.